Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus. One more time, down in Mississippi. I wanna say to all of you who have paid any attention to me, and on a couple of channels I got a few subscribers, not that many. And over the past 10 or so years that I've been on the social media, I have very limited amounts of contact. And that's just the way it is. I want to say to everybody that hears my voice, I don't know this earth that I'm walking on and what's going on in the world. I really do not know. All that I do know is that for the past 40 years, I have been given a mission. And I say given a mission because I don't even supposed to be here. But for the 40 years, I've been exercising that mission. And as far as I could see, the mission was to remind you that uh, there is something that's fantastically wonderful in living as a human being. That it was designed to be that way and that uh, it is only through deception that we experience the life that we do live. And I've spent my time trying to share with you what I have been given. I've been given where all your dreams and desires and wants can be real. And I've also shared with you why they aren't, because there's a deceiver out there in the form of individuals, not a devil. Maybe devilish acts, evil acts, but they were committed by people. And I recognize that the people have been deceived to think that if any good thing is gonna come on this earth, it's gonna come by a miracle. You see, evil works through people, but people are so evil that God can't work through them. Seriously, people are so evil that God cannot work through them. God have to, have to actually be miraculous to find an individual to use for a moment. Human beings are too evil. You try to give them the word, they translate that word into everything. But the outcome of it is the same as the outcome of George Floyd's life. George Floyd's life was an indication of this world's failure and the people's failure to learn and accept the truth. And, uh, you know, George was much younger than I, and George has gone on to glory. For me, I'm 70 years old. 70 years old. And for the past 40 years, I have cherished the hope that one day you would wake up during my lifetime. I'm convinced now that that won't happen. And so I wanna tell you ladies and gentlemen, I have said, I don't want you to like me. Anytime I speak to you, I would love to make you angry. But I'm gonna take a reprieve from that. I'm gonna leave you guys alone. You can have whatever it is that you want in this world, as far as I'm concerned, whatever it is that's so important to you that you turn your back on love and live in evil. And you cannot say that you're living in love because you know now that the powers of the world are people, evil people, who cause pain and suffering on others. That's the evidence of their evil. And it continues because you do not have what it takes to straighten it up. Donald Trump, one of the worst presidents we ever had, all day, every day, he walks on America and everything that America has stood for. And you know what? He gets away with it every day, every day. And people, some are loving him, and others don't know what to do. That's why? Because you don't know the truth. You do not know God, and you will sit right there and allow that man to be president again and run it over you again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I ain't no fool. I know what's going on. And if you want this, of course, you can have it. You can have it, you can have it. And hopefully this just might be one of the last broadcasts that I make. You see, I'm tired, I'm tired. They have called me, and I'm gonna say this to you, the devil of Minnesota. The devil of Minnesota. And you know why they call me the devil of Minnesota? They call me the devil of Minnesota just because 
I advise you that your needs, your wants, and your desires have already been prepared for. They call me the devil of Minnesota because I say those things that are essential for your survival, like food, clothing, shelter, education, health care, and a job, they call that the most evil thing that you can be told. I have been called a devil because I share with you that peace and prosperity and freedom and joy of life and the fulfillment of those dreams are absolutely available to you, that the power is in your hand. They call me a devil for telling you that. But they call me a devil because I would not share with you the fake stuff. I would not tell you that lying and cheating and stealing and killing and terrorizing and creating situations for racism and hatred and bigotry. I would not tell you that that was a good thing. I'd tell you that that was evil. And so that they don't want to hear that. They want me to tell you that that is great. And since I didn't tell you that that is great, they call me the devil. They say I don't know God, and apparently I don't know the God that they're talking about. But I'm not going to go beyond that, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say this. If that's the way you want to live your life, live your life that way. I want to have no part with it. It is too painful because while you're walking out there doing your thing, People are hurting, people are crying, people are asking for help, and there are no God around. No God around. Oh, that would do good. Yeah, there's some good people now, but we all know that the only reason that evil prevails is because goodness won't do nothing. Goodness won't do nothing. Everybody knows Donald Trump wrong. A lot of good people in America don't mean a thing. Right back to George Floyd. Good people standing out there right behind him when he was being murdered. That were good people. Everybody standing out there were basically good people. Even the cops. <laughs> but what happened? George Floyd is here no more. And so, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I want to say that it has been a pleasure when I was younger living in here in this world, spreading my evil all over the place. It was cool. But in the process of doing that, I was a part of facilitating evil. But I learned my lesson. And I've changed. And I know, hope, that in time, you will change. It might take the virus. It might take a nuclear war. But I want to tell you that in the end, God is going to get the glory. Now, I'm not, I have prayed to God. I've asked God, I said, God, if I can't be instrumental in really making changes, you know, I'm sharing your word forward. But if people are not going to benefit from what I'm saying during these times, I've asked God to take my life. The suffering is too great. I see, especially when you get old, America does not care about its elders. They get old and sick and they don't have the treatments necessary because the cures meant no money. And you know, the evil that stands up on money. It's amazing, ladies and gentlemen. It is absolutely amazing. You will help a dog die. You sit there and watch a human being suffer forever. And if he or she is courageous enough to end their own life, then if they have bought some some insurance or something to help disperse of themselves, they won't even get it. So they 